Hey guys, Aloha Friday. For today's edition of Storytime, we're going to continue with what we were talking about yesterday, and that's the corner store that I grew up nearby in San Antonio, Texas at Thousand Oaks and Henderson Pass. So me and my brother, we both went to Thousand Oaks Elementary School for second grade, third grade, fourth grade, and fifth grade, and we would walk home and we'd always stop at the stop and go. Uh, sometimes we'd go to the Lone Star, but the Lone Star was smaller than the stop and go. And the stop and go had these little seats and tables where you could sit at. And they also had uh, Altered Beast video games. Sometimes they had other video games. Uh, the Lone Star across the street, their candy was a little bit cheaper, but uh, they they had the little five cent candies at the bottom that the stop and go didn't have. Uh, but we generally stopped at the stop and go on our way walking to and from school. I have a lot of memories from that stop and go. Um, I remember yesterday I was talking about the Ultra Beast game, uh, but I also remember getting hot dogs there one day with Nathan Gadoni. And getting a hot dog was a rare thing for me as a kid because we were like malnourished and didn't have any money and were neglected. Uh, so we were getting a hot dog, and uh, then while I was putting the relish and the mustard and the ketchup on it, actually fell on the floor. And I was just like, oh no. It was like, oh no, you know? And like uh, now as an adult, I would have just picked it up and still ate it. But then I didn't know as a kid, and I thought, oh no, if the clerk sees me, he may make me pay for it, and I won't get a hot dog and this and that. Uh, so I just kicked it under the drink dispenser machine, right? And then we're standing in line, and I'm hoping nobody's going to say anything. And then the uh, guy behind me was like, excuse me, were you boys getting hot dogs? And I was like, yes. And then he's like, oh, well, I remember getting a hot dogs when I was a kid in the summertime, so I want to pay for your kids' hot dogs. And then we're like, really? Okay. And then, like, so I felt so, like the luckiest kid in the world. Somebody bought me a hot dog, you know. I also uh, remember uh, that stop and go. You know, we didn't get out of that neighborhood, so that, you know, that was our whole world, that area, that neighborhood on the northeast side, Thousand Oaks and Hershey Pass. So I remember the first time I ever saw a prostitute, uh, it was at that stop and go at those tables. Uh, normally, it was a really nice area, a suburban area, so there weren't many prostitutes or anything around. And so uh, I was really shocked to see her, you know, the way that she was dressed with really short shorts and a really cut-off top. And I'd never seen anybody at my... Uh, elementary school or in my uh, CCD church school dressed like that. I never seen a woman dressed like that. And I remember getting an erection and being like surprised, like what's going on with my body? Is that supposed to happen? My penis just, boom, you know. Uh, also, uh, a little bit later, a few years later, my very first concert, uh, one of my first concerts at least, was Pantera and White Zombie. And on the way to the concert, I was on the way to the bus stop. A car drove by and like flipped me off. They're like, fuck you. And I thought I was all hard going to Pantera. I was like, fuck you. And then they stopped and pulled over and some guy's got like a metal bar. He comes over and just hits me across the head. And I go up to the stop and go and I sit down and the police come. And then the cops didn't believe me. Like, yeah, right, somebody did that to you just because you, you know, were rolled down the street. What's that, drug deal gone bad? And I was like, no, no. So they called my mom. My dad didn't give a shit. But my mom drove all the way across town, took me to the hospital. I got 12 stitches and took me to the Pantera concert. So I had all this metal thing on the Pantera. And was like, did you get in the mosh pit? And I grew up really hard and I had a horrible father, but I had a great mother. She was a really great person. Anything.